Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing out there today, YouTube? It's your man, I'm different. And I just want to welcome y'all into a new year. And I want to thank y'all for rocking with me. It's 2023, and we're about to go even harder, go even stronger. So I'm wishing everybody out there the best. May God continue to bless you as he continue to bless me. Uh, and those close to me, those near and dear, keep us father. <sighs> Amen. But anyway, this video is going to be about me upgrading my PC here, the Think Tank. So this is a part two, but before we get into it, hey. I'm different, I'm different, I'm different. It's your boy, I'm different. Yeah. Coming through the screen, what you say? having a whole bunch of knowledge, trying Teach. to learn a couple things. Yeah. Not claiming to be the best, but I ain't backing down from the top. Never that. With God on my side, yeah, you know I'm truly blessed. Amen. It's your boy, I'm different. Oh yeah. I'm different. What you say? Your boy, I'm different. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm different. Yeah, that's me, that's me, that's me. All right, all right, that's it, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. So on this part two of the video, I'm upgrading my CPU, all right? That is the brains of the computer, all right? I went with the AMD Ryzen 9 7950X. It is a top of line CPU that they just released. Got it back about two months ago, so the beginning of November sometime, uh, when it first came out, when I was able to get my hands on one. Uh, it is a new socket set, an AM5. The motherboard I had was an AM4. The B, uh, the B550 Tomahawk was an uh, AM4 board, so I ended up having to get an AM5 board. I went with the X670 Oris Elite AX, all right? And with that, I also wanted to protect my CPU from overheating, so I went with a liquid cooling system uh, from Cooler Masters. The CPU is a 16 core, 32 thread CPU. It has a base clock of 4.5 megahertz, 4.5, gigahertz and you can max it out at 5.7 gigahertz i have seen some videos some people pushing it to six but they had a nice cooling system and kept that thing real nice and cool so it did it was able to handle that much power all right so first thing first, we're gonna start off with the motherboard, okay? Comes in a nice sleek package, uh, static resistant paper. Um, they help for static electric shocks on the motherboard so it doesn't fry the system or anything, or any components. So as always, I always pull out all my parts, accessories, go over the manual uh, to get acquainted with the system. Not all motherboards are created the same, so you just have to get familiar with how they design theirs and figure out what they changed here and there and you know what i'm saying so that's what i was doing pull it on out the packaging and i'm getting ready to place the cpu in it so we got to take it out of its box all right i'm wiping that bad boy down it looks good it's sleek it's nice the design is simple and not too drastic um looks very well put together you know it's not too flimsy it's nice and sturdy all right, so I'm messing around with the new socket set, uh, seeing what it's gonna entail, and it's pretty simple. Just latch it in, um, pop the CPU in place, no pressure or anything like that. Now, the CPU comes with a little arrow on one of the corners, and the socket has a little arrow on one of the corners, and that's what you wanna do. You wanna line up with the socket on the CPU with the socket arrow, and that's what I'm doing there looking. Here, I found the arrow here. Then I look down on the socket set and I seen it, so I'm just gonna set it with those arrows lined up, all right? No extra pushing, anything like that is needed. All you wanna do next is flip the bracket over it and set it in, and the bracket is gonna set it into place. And all you gotta do is just latch it, you know? That way you don't bend any pins or mess up your uh, chip, okay? Also with this CPU, I am upgrading the power supply. I went from 600 watts to 850. That way I can support the power that the CPU is gonna need, the GPU is already gonna need, and that this pump's gonna need now. So I didn't wanna cut any corners when it came to enough power, all right? So next we're gonna play around with the pump. Uh, it's my first time messing with an all-in-one system. Uh, it's basically the liquid moves through the radiator. The pumps push the hot water from that is collecting from the CPU head, pushes through the radiator, cools it off, and it goes back through the cycle. Um, 
So here I'm looking at all my components and parts. When I looked at the pump head, I noticed that it didn't come with any thermal paste on it. The last time I did a CPU um, upgrade, the fan came with the thermal paste already on it. So I was worried, check it the package and boom, they had thermal paste in there. I was so relieved and glad I didn't have to run to the store to get any. So again, I'm reading the instructions for the pump, uh, getting myself acquainted with all the parts, how it needs to be installed um, and its overall operations, okay? So found the right brackets that I'm gonna need to apply to the AM5 socket set. Uh, once I get all that put together, I'm gonna start adding it to the pump and we're gonna get to work. It was pretty simple. Once you find the brackets that you need, apply the four screws, tighten it into place, and she's ready to go. That was pretty much it. All right, next part I'm adding on are the fans to the radiator. Um, here I'm installing the fans the right direction. Um, I wasn't too familiar with the uh, airflow of the blades. Normally they come with the uh, arrow on the fans. These didn't, and I wasn't paying attention or remember exactly what side the fan blades blew. So I had it right here, uh, but I ended up switching it because I was worried that they looked different from the fans here. Uh, because I was adding these two to these two to make it four fans on my radio um, to help the cooling of it. <clears throat> so I should have went with my first gut and just left them like they were. End up having to double work myself here. You can see I'm taking them out to flip them around. <laughs> but it's all well. We live, we learn. With the new motherboard, you can see I'm taking the old motherboard out. That's the old one, the B55 Tomahawk. Um, it was good. It's becoming the streaming PC. So I didn't get rid of it. It would just turn it into another PC. All right. So with the new motherboard, it was a DDR5. So I had to get new RAM. I went with Gloa, uh, Glowy. I don't know. Correct me later in the comment section. Uh, with two sticks of eight gigabytes for 16 gigs total. Um, it's rated at 5200 megahertz. I don't know how accurate that is, uh, but I'll do some testing later and see. It's my first time working with them, and we're gonna see how they hold up. Um, so here you see I'm installing the new motherboard, had to remove the fan to get it to slide in properly with no hassle, and I'm tightening it down with the eight screws that it needs. Now I'm reinstalling the fan after I got the motherboard in place and it's seated nicely, all right? So next I'm moving back onto the power supply and get it all wired into place. It is a semi-modular power supply. Uh, that means it comes with the normal power for the CPU, uh, GPU, and the SATA cable. Uh, other than that, everything else is modular. That means you can add and take it away if you want it or you don't need it. So if you need an extra one for your GPU, another SATA cable for more hard drives, you can add them as you need them and not have all that wiring if you don't. So I'm screwing it into place, then I'm gonna find all my paths and my wire, get everything wired up properly, make it look nice and neat as I can. And then we're gonna move on to the next step.
And I think this is a part where I started getting, I ain't gonna say frustrated, but <laughs> maybe a little frustrated. Uh, I should have took this top fan off here and that way these wires wouldn't have been that hard to put into place. Uh, but I was trying to cut corners and push them in, shove them in, and end up calling myself the overwork. And I think doing that process, I forgot about the camera and I went straight into adding on the pump. That was the last thing, adding the pump to the CPU. Um, I did have a little bit of hassle adding the radiator to these front fans here. It, this has a radiator, um, a radiator mount in it. The fans were already on it. I had to take the fans off, line up the radiator with the hose on the radiator tray. And once I did that, I was getting some, um, I don't know, I was getting some scrubbing. I think one of the fan blades was hitting the screws. So I had to use a different set of screws. I used the wrong screws. Uh, but anyway, uh, fixed that part. After that, that was all she wrote. Uh, so overall, I'm happy with the new upgrades. Everything is working well. I'm gonna have some more um, update videos for y'all so y'all can have some reviews on exactly how everything is working. I'll show you the frame rates of a couple of games and show you the differences um, in the settings that I can get now. Uh, also, I'll do a, another tour of my setup now that I've switched things around and I'm working with the two PC setup. So I'll show you how that looks. Also added some new bells and whistles too to make my stream um, just overall experience for me, my wife, and our uh, couples channel. Just uh, be more professional for y'all. I thank y'all for all y'all support. It's really, 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 really appreciate. But anyway, I wish y'all out there the best. Be sure to check back with me. More updates, more videos are coming to you soon. Like I said, I really do appreciate all y'all. So until next time, you know how we do over here. If ain't nobody told you they love you, know we love you over here. So until next time, peace. We love you. Oh.